is that dude? Really? Damn, really adds 10 pounds. <laughs> Are you sure that's just not your wife doing that to you? <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, that's what you're blaming it on. <clears throat>
I know it's it's kind of like there's days where I come and there's like a lot of people here, and then there's times where it's like no one. I right. try to get here when there's no one here. Right. Though. Yeah, I mean, it's it just depends on the day. I mean, of course, we come up with days only Wednesday, so that's going to be a Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, we'll be here. Oh, okay. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. to go back to the comic book store 
because there's a book she forgot to get. So I bought her these two. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. And it's cool though. It's a good excuse for me to go. clothes than we were earlier was because we actually just finished watching the stars game and whooped Anaheim's ass <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna go I'm gonna go over some of the my big haul that I had actually sitting in my pool list for a little over a month and my wife Bree she's actually here joining us today hey guys she's gonna be in a lot of the videos so get used to her um, do you want to go first and show them what you got? Sure. I got in the bargain bins and, um, I got the first three to, um, Stephen King's The Stand. It's the first one. And the second one, and that's a hardcover on that one. And they were all five dollars a piece. So, it was a really good deal. And then there's the third one. So I still have three left to get. Uh, number four, five, and six. And then I also found um, number three of the strain. Four or five dollars. Which, again, is a really good deal. Because they're, you know, 20 bucks normally. Yeah, I'm a fan of the strain. So I'm definitely going to be reading those. Yeah. But that was my funds today. After our, our second trip. Yeah. She wanted to go back and pick up the first book. Yeah, I didn't want to spend the $5 on this one when I was there. And then I got home and I was like, oh, well, that was the first one. So I had to go back and get it. Yeah, so that was her haul for this week or for the month. We don't know. It's usually, she's really a f big fan of horror. Um, I like a lot darker comics, but she, if... Halloween year round. That's that's really it. I mean, that's what it comes down to. But um, I actually I'm trying to build my collection of Wolverine. I'm a big fan, huge fan of Wolverine. Um, <clears throat> if I can get the complete set, that would be amazing. So I actually got Marvel Knights, Spider Man, Wolverine. Um, they don't have dollar bins at my LCS, so. It's usually just cover price, you know. Not, I can't, you know, can't hate on that. It's not a really big to have collectibles, and it's pretty nice. Josh is the second in command. He takes care of the day to days and stuff like that. Really nice guy. Um, they definitely know their stuff. So you have any questions, you can just go in there, and uh, their comic book shop is Urban Legend Comics. So you know, big shout out to them. Um, they actually, you know, they really helped us we spent like 80 bucks on all our haul today um which is is a lot for a for a one-time haul in the sense of you know going and picking up stuff every other week but um he saved us quite a bit of cash so uh thank you josh this was i actually got this the second time around where we went to go pick up her comic book 
and uh, <clears throat> of course the Venom Annual. This is the uh, the regular cover. I actually have the variant cover stored away safe. Um, but uh, I usually try to get more than one cover. One so I can just kind of keep safe, and the other one so I can read. Um, I know that might seem kind of petty, but who cares? That's me. Uh, I got the Thor regular Thor cover for six. Uh, Thor cover for four. Thor variant cover for five. Like I said, get more than one. I actually like the covers. They're kind of retro. I like them. This is the regular for five. I like this cover most of all. It, it's kind of like between me and my brother, who you'll you'll meet later. But uh, I like that. By the way, I'm Thor, <laughs> not my brother. I like this other one. So, pretty nice regular cover. Thor 2. Now, <clears throat> to some of my actual pulls, I have Thor is on my regular pull, so is the return of Wolverine, and the actual series following that will be there too. So I got the variant edition of Return of Wolverine 2. Cover B of Judge Dredd, Toxin. Really eager to read this. I'm sure this is going to be a great series. And a classic, um, which I think that if you were born in the 90s or in the 80s, maybe even the 70s, you should get Army of Darkness for sure. I mean, I haven't read this yet, but I know it'll be great. I know it will. That's the reason I got it, because it's just, it's, it's a good, it's going to be good. I have the regular Wolverine 2. So, big fan of Wolverine. I have the What If Thor Was Raised by the Frost Giant. Giants. I've heard great things about this one, The Whispering Dark. I haven't really been able to uh, get a chance to read this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Um, even you know it, the art itself I'm I'm not sure if they're gonna have any variants coming out with this but if they are I'm gonna try to get at least one or two of them and the regular cover um, but definitely really nice I like the skull in the moon that's that's kinda cool and you know the people walking it that's pretty that's pretty cool I got the true believers what if Jane Foster has found the Thor of Hammer. Had found the Thor of Hammer. And some that I picked up in the um, back issues was <clears throat> let me get these. Um, they don't have any dollar bins in my LCS, which I kind of wish they did. But they have dollar. They have what are they called? Comic bricks. Yeah. Comic bricks, and they're twenty comics for six ninety nine. Which is a pretty good deal, um, you know. You're they're totally random. Yeah, they're totally random. So um, even when I asked uh, Josh if there was any Bronze Age or Silver Age, uh, there wasn't like a specific place in the shop, which I kind of wish there was, but there there isn't, and I understand why. Um, a lot of their comics are modern, and they have a lot of graphic novels, and the little bit that they do have of like the browns and silver age they're usually in safe boxes just enough to keep your finger through remember you saw those boxes um, but I understand why you know I mean they're they're valuables you know um, there was a couple of daredevils from the 90s I think <clears throat> that were like two two dollars there was like three of them I probably should have got I'll probably get them next time they were in the 100s, like 183, 185, 170, something like that. So, But um, from the back issues, I actually got Wolverine Origins 1. Um, I haven't read these. That's the reason why I got them, not just to collect them, but I'm really eager in the stories and the writer. I like the art. I like how there's, you know, 
a different Wolverine in the water and the reflection of the, the lake there or the pond, whatever you want to call that. Um, Wolverine 175, this goes directly to volume 2 of Wolverine, so that's going to be awesome, which I'm actually trying to build. Uh, Return of Wolverine, I didn't get this issue when it came out, I think two weeks ago, but I got it now, so that's what's important. So I got to catch up on this and all these other ones. Uh, Origins 2, again, back to the Origins. Uh, um, from what I've heard, this is this is a lot better than the the, the original origin story, so should be good a good read. X Men Uncanny. I'm actually getting the the new relaunch, which will be amazing. From what I hear, there's different writers, but I just had to get the original 180. So, you know, uh, I think this was like two dollars. Um, I got the variant for Origins 2. This is a variant, so. And that's it for our back issues. So, you will, uh, okay, this is, this is her collection, her private collection. I, I'm currently collecting Venom 2018, um, The Hunt for Wolverine, Web of Venom, and the Thor and some of Infinity Wars that's really what's my collection but this is <clears throat> this is what she has and has um, I just recently came across this find and I'm super excited about it um, I've read through it twice already uh, but the pumpkin head series it's so really good it's really good all one through five I was psyched to see it on the shelf when I did see it she snatched them right away. <laughs> yeah, she, she bought carried two, them around the store. <laughs> yeah, she bought two of the, the same issue. with Didn't even realize it until we got home. Yeah, because the different covers on it. I was like, I don't care. I just want them all. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, I'm currently um, going through Black Eyed Kids. So I've got one and two of those. Precious. <laughs> uh, my Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. So... Those are collectibles. Yeah, I've got one, two, and six, and I am looking to get the rest of them. This is definitely one that I'm going to complete the collection. And uh, we're actually supposed to go in a couple days to. Well, we're planning to go to yeah, visit this um, new shop she found on Instagram. Horror, horror freaks. Horror freaks. Or for, horror freak. Oh, I actually got this one for her. I. <laughs> she's my wonder woman no yeah she is so whenever i can find a good deal on any wonder woman <laughs> classic i'm gonna get it for her okay no questions and this was on sale for 75 cents but it is really good i mean i haven't this is the original plastic from when i bought it so her Wonder Woman collection is going to be built up substantially. This is her first Wonder Woman comic, so. I like heroes, but I also like bad guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, that was really our uh, our actual haul for the week. Um, our hauls won't always be this big. Sometimes they will be, uh, depending on the comic book shops we visit. I'll always be bringing stuff in from our... LL or LCS and um, who knows we might stumble across something amazing you know uh, one in a lifetime type of thing uh, I did see that they had a uh, number four Wolverine for volume two in my LCS which is coming home with me sooner or later <laughs> so uh, I tell him he needs to quit buying things for himself <laughs> Christmas is right around the corner so be on the lookout for that okay <laughs> But, um, but yeah, that's it for exploring comics. So I hope you guys like what you saw today. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.